Hi guys, good morning. Um, I was able to sleep some. I was pretty much uh, up every hour or hour and a half. Um, you know, I'd just be dry and need to blow my nose and that kind of fun stuff. So um, I did get some sleep last night and I'm thankful for that. I'm going to get these orders ready so that my husband can take them and then I'm going to try to go back to bed and get some more rest. Uh, but again, I, I'm, I've am i been up like half an hour now and I don't know if I'll be able to go back to sleep, but I'm going to go just try, turn on some more bolo videos and, you know, just... Um, see what I can do, see see if I can get any rest. Uh, so I, I only have four items going out right now, um, which, and they're a lot of clearance items, so this isn't near as fun as yesterday, but it's early in the morning. Um, I did send some offers in the middle of the night at like two in the morning. I had two or three offers I could send. So I did that, and then I listed pretty late last night. I listed um, the um, navy coat that had the medic patch on it that I had showed you in one of my hauls. So I listed that for in the 140s and um, it's a wool uh, vintage navy coat. So I got that listed and I got quite a few things listed yesterday considering how I felt. I just can't remember what they are. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and I'll tell you what I have going out today. So this, these are not your daughter jeans. They're a good size, they're a size 12, but they are 12 petite. and I just, you know, am, I love this brand, but I'm being very careful. I'll do it in tall or I'll do it in actual plus size. But anything, even a 12 petite, I just, I uh, don't do well on them. They aren't turning anymore. So I sold this for six plus eight ninety nine shipping. So it was about fifteen ninety four all in. I'm going to ship this. Now remember, Monday is Martin Luther King Day on the 16th, so it's a postal holiday. So tomorrow I have to drive out of town to go get my hair done, thankfully. I'm not going to cancel that unless I just absolutely have to. She's a friend of mine and because um, I've gone to her for years, so I'll wear a mask and go ahead and go anyway. In fact, I have some consignment stuff. Uh, she, she bought a bunch of um, Happy Planner Disney stuff and, you know, she gives me stuff to sell for. So I, I hope I can get through some paperwork today because um, I owe her some money on some consignment items. But if not, she'll understand and I'll just drop it off next time I'm going through. I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to do that. Right now, all my energy has to go to listing and then just getting better. So that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, this would not be a pickup for me. Um, at the bins, come on, printer. Oh, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> there we go. Um, at the bins, not your daughter's jeans, they can be light enough sometimes to even go in a first class. So you're only paying like two to two fifty on them. Um, so I would do them in bigger sizes. Those flip for me. There it goes. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, that sailor coat, um, or navy wool coat. It was an enlisted coat is what the name of it is. You can go to my eBay store and see it there. Um, it took me a while because the wool had just a ton of, not hair, but just lint and stuff that I had to roll her off. And then, um, let's see, it only had, I guess you'd call it moth damage or rub damage on the pocket. I looked it over everywhere. And um, so it probably took me 20, 25 minutes to list that one item because I took 25, 24 photos. I took all 24 and then um, I had to roller it off and it didn't, I think it went in a real big, um, what do you call it? Uh, mailer. It went in a huge mailer. I'm dropping stuff. So yeah, so that took me longer than most things I list just because I wanted to do a good job on it since I'm asking so much for that. Okay, today I'm going to list the ballistics helmet. If I have any energy at all, next is the ballistics helmet. Then I'll probably do a couple hard goods things just because those are my most expensive things. And, you know, I don't try to like cheat the system and just say, oh, I'm going to list one thing today. But when I'm sick like this, um, I'll do what I have to do to, you know, get well. And so normally, and I still might, you know, sometimes, I mean, I felt pretty good yesterday, actually. And I had a lot of hours yesterday where I got a lot done. So I'm hoping for that today, too. Um, I have five tubs of clothing, six, about 
about eight tubs of clothing. There isn't that much in each one, though, because a lot of them have coats in them. So I would say I have about 50 or 60 items that I could list. Normally, I would have sent 30 to my VA, list 20 myself. Then by tonight or tomorrow, he would have had his 30 done. That would be my normal um, situation, but that, I don't know if that's going to happen today. All right. See what we have next. I'm so glad some of these things are going. Um, this I know you can't see it, but it is a vintage Garfield gift bag, and I've had this for about two years. And I kept marking the price down. It's really cute. It's brand new. I believe I either got it at the bins or just at a thrift. And I thought it's a it's a 1970s um you know gift bag 1978, and it's a big one too. It's 13 by 10, but I just could not get that thing to sell so I finally got four dollars plus um six dollars shipping it weighs nine ounces yeah some of these clearance things when they finally go um and I recent I mean I've marked it down all year I just I wanted to get it sold before Christmas um but yeah here we are and after Christmas everything is selling it's kind of weird what did I say on that I think yeah nine okay I had 14 in there for some reason but I don't have calculated shipping I had put flat rate so it'll be about the same let me see what I charged them so it's going to cost me 490 just because and I charged them 525 so I wasn't trying to excessively charge on shipping I thought maybe that's why it just took forever so anyway good riddance I was if I had been more organized over Christmas I was going to take it out and just use it for somebody this Christmas and just get rid of it so glad it's gone. My computer is slow today, I guess. <coughs> okay, click that. Yeah, the next thing I'm going to list today, we already tested this and it works, but I'll make a quick video, is Snoring Santa, and I told you about him when I did my haul video. So, he's wor he was, before Christmas anyway, worth an easy hundred. I don't know what I'll get after Christmas, but you can see I'm just selling so much Christmas stuff after Christmas. So, um, I'm going to try to get him listed and the ballistics helmet. I've got to figure out how to get the... Um, this internal thing moved because the number for the ballistic helmet is right here and so I've got to figure out how to get that off or I'll get my loop out and I'll get my gla my uh, reading glasses on and if I can but you know I want to be able to photo the number too and so I don't I don't think these unsnap so I'm gonna have because the number makes a huge difference I mean which one this is makes a difference between 80 bucks and $300. So, um, and I was hoping it was in the booklet because this came with it, but I cannot find the number in here, but um, it may tell me how to, it says adjust the headband, chin strap. Um, so anyway, I think I can figure it out, but yeah, it'll, you know, to get an $80 sale, sometimes you have to do a little bit more work and I guess I'm going to have to. Where'd I put my stack? I am um, super unorganized today. All right. I want to keep my hair appointment tomorrow because I think I'll feel better too if I just make myself get out and about. Um, you know, sometimes when you just get out and get some fresh air, you just end up getting well faster and... Um, I may have to just do that. It'll be a nice drive over the mountain. Okay, now I sold the other one of these. I had two of these. One was a darker blue. These are those um, Franklin brand. They, they, uh, what do they say? Franklin planner. They're a type of Franklin Covey planner. And because they say Franklin Covey right here. 
but um, they had stickers in them. The other one actually had some writing. So I took, I think, like 15 a piece, but they sold really fast. I do so well on Franklin Covey planners. I'm just going to put this in a mailer. See if I can get it in the, in the flat rate. So yeah, 15 plus shipping, 27.23. Let's see if I can get it in here. If not, I'll get a box. Nope, it's going to go, and I think it's um, fine in here. That will go good. my hands okay and that is going to weigh 142 and I charged them 975 so let me find my padded flat rate and that's going to cost me 830 so I made a tiny bit on the shipping I clicked. Maybe I didn't. There we go. The last thing I'm going to ship is this mug. And I got a whole, like, you know, two paragraph thing about how to ship the mug. You know, she's worried about it, and that's fine. Um, but I double box everything anyway, and I don't have things arrive broken. I, um, I have my packing here. So I'm going to bubble wrap the mug, put it in here, and then I will put it down in a box this big. I, I That's why I don't sell a ton of glass because I'm type A about how I ship it. And so people end up paying more just because of the dimensions of the packages on my items than other people's. Even Snoring Santa, by the time I bubble wrap him and put some cardboard around him and all of that, my shipping tends to be more expensive than other people's, but that's just how I feel good about it. I don't get returns on saying that things are broken very often. That's very rare. and um, But people do sometimes comment on the shipping, and I just tell them, you know, uh, I'm not making any money on the shipping. This is in a double box, and this is how I ship. And uh, so that's how I do it. But, yeah, I used to sell china and things like that, and I just... Don't do that anymore because I can't be competitive. I guess I could watch some videos, but either way, I don't think I would go any lower. So yeah, she says, be sure to wrap and overwrap the mug, including the handle. I see lots of busted handles in shipping. And just be sure that the mug can't move around alone in the box. A well-wrapped mug bouncing around is about as rough as an underwrapped mug. I've learned you can't overpack a mug for shipping. This is a great mug, and I'm very excited to get it in. Thanks, and I won't say the name, but um, I told you about these in my last haul. It's uh, Deneen. Is it Deneen? What is this called? Yeah, Deneen with two with three E's. And, um, you know, I just knew it was something special with this. Of course, I was hoping it was a Death Wish coffee mug, but that's not what it was. Anyway, and I get it. You know, they, um, people who order off of eBay a lot, they do say, you know, stuff just gets thrown in a box by new sellers. So I can get where um, Dan is uh, worried about that. Anyway, thirty-one twenty all in. Okay, so I am going to use more bubble wrap than I normally would even, but, um, but yeah, when, you know, um, and then I looked at the feedback and I thought, oh great, is this going to be like a problem person who's just trying to look for a way to say that it showed up broken, but I looked at their feedback and they leave, I, I don't think that they've ever left a negative, they, they always leave a positive and they always say, you know, well packed and so I was happy about that, um, because sometimes it's just like someone looking for a way to say, oh, you know, I told them, and then they shipped it broken, and, um, but they don't have to worry about that with me. They'll, they'll, uh, be t tired of unwrapping bubble wrap by the time they get things from me. Even on blow molds, um, and plastic things, like, so, like Santa here, he's all plastic, but I'm still gonna really over bubble wrap him. So... 
even the ballistics helmet. I mean, I'll probably put bubble wrap on it, which is kind of dumb because, you know, if it can't make it in shipping, you don't want to be even playing in it. Um, all right, so I get that back in there. So this mug is not moving anywhere in there in this box. Now, this is how I think most people ship. They would just put it in here, but you can tell that any kind of pressure can break that mug. So then I put it down in a whole nother box. And again, you know, you have to do what you want. Um, I'm sure that I sell a lot less things because what did I charge this person? I think I charged them, what, 14 or something? No, I charge twelve fifty on shipping, and it's going to Kansas, which is really close to me, so that's good. That is good, good, good. Now I've got Santa junking up my workspace. I should have left him over there. That's all right. Okay, oh, that box is not going to work. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, this box is not going to work as a shipping box. I just got it at the dollar store. So anyway, I'm going to um, either have to put another piece of cardboard there. I'm going to go get a different box. So I will not use that one. I'm just going to use this for packing. But I want to show you my mini haul here. Mini is in two items. Um, I got this at the thrift the other day. I spent $7.42. It's our local thrift down here. And I picked this up for three bucks. This is just for myself. I didn't even look it up. I guess I should. Um, it doesn't expire until 2024. And especially right now, I've been drinking like seriously 10 cups of tea a day. And um, it's got English breakfast, Darjeeling, Earl Grey, Himalayan green. I don't know if I want that. I'm not a mint tea person, but my husband is. And um, it's got some hibiscus and some turmeric tea. So, but the top ones, especially the Darjeeling, is one of my favorites. So I thought for three bucks for 40 tea bags. Um, but I guess I better look it up. You never know. Maybe a good thing. And then. Um, they hadn't put much out. I was disappointed when I went this time. You could tell that whoever put stuff out, you know, is just lots of open space in the clothing. So I don't know what happened over the weekend, but nothing was out. Okay, then. This is just Coldwater Creek, but it is a 1X. And it's a really pretty purple kind of maxi dress and button all the way up and down. And so it was um, $3, and I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and get that. It's a pretty fabric. What? Japanese fabric, 100% rayon. So it's, it's really soft, um, but it's rayon. But I think I can get 20 to 25 for that because it's a nice um, size. So anyway, i got to get that get that listed. All right, I'm going to let you go. Um, if I do have a lot of shipping, I'm going to go try to lay down till 11, which I'm wide awake now, so I don't think it's going to do any good. But um, if I do get more orders and anything interesting, I will let you know. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.